हेलो एवरीवन आई मीट सिंह अम्बी थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट एट ट्रिपल आई टी अलाहाबाद वेलकम टू आर चैनल लर्न कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग विद कोर्टशिप इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वांट टू लर्न एंड मास्टर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिदम्स दिस इज वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू एवरी वीक वी विल बी पोस्टिंग एक्सप्लेनेशन टू कोर्टशिप प्रॉब्लम कंसेप्चुअल वीडियोज एंड ऑल्सो कंडक्ट लाइव प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग सेशन Before you get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Did you know that Coachship also conducts free live classes on an academy, where we teach every possible topic related to competitive programming. These courses are conducted by top coding experts who have been ICPC World finalist, and are also highly rated on various coding websites. You can use my referral code Me Ten to subscribe and get an instant ten percent off. Today we have the problem name Or of Ends, which is a simple level problem based on the bitwise operations. basically the bitwise or and the bitwise and operations so let us see the problem statement for the or of and problem we are given a array with n integers and array's score is defined as the bitwise and of all of its elements and we need to find bitwise or of all the scores of all possible non empty sub arrays of a so basically what we need to do in this particular question is that firstly we need to find the score for each of the possible non empty sub array of the initial given array with an integers and the score is defined as the bitwise and of all of the elements in that particular sub array and the final answer it will be the or of all of the scores for all the possible sub arrays furthermore we are given q queries and in each of the query there are two integers x and v and we need to change the value of element at the index x to v now after performing this particular query we need to again find the bitwise or of all the scores of all possible non empty sub array so basically we need to do the same operation after applying this particular queries let us see some sample test cases this particular number 4 here represents the n of the initial array a the number 1 here represents the number of the queries now we have n elements four here in this particular case are these now for finding the answer which we required for this particular question firstly we need to calculate all of its sub arrays so starting from each of the index i will be writing the all possible sub array if we start from that particular index in this way i have covered all of the possible sub arrays here in this particular case now the answer for a particular sub array it will be the bitwise and of all of its elements now this particular sub array has only one element one here the bitwise and for this particular number it will be one only now similarly we will write bitwise and for all of the elements in a particular sub array this sub array has one and two so bitwise and it will be zero now bitwise and for these three elements it will also be zero it will also be zero for two it will be two if we have 2 and 3 the bitwise and will be 2 for 2 3 4 we have 0 now for 3 we have 3 if we have 3 and 4 in a sub array then the bitwise and it will come out to be 0 and finally for the last sub array the bitwise and will be 4 and i'll answer for this particular array it will be the or of all these elements which are 1 0 0 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 3 0 and 4 and the bitwise or of all these elements it comes out to be 7 so we need to report 7 as our answer now we have also given the query and in this particular query we need to change the fourth index of our array and that particular term which is now at the fourth index it needs to be changed to 0 now let us again calculate the same values which we have calculated for this particular array so firstly let us write all of the possible sub arrays in the same fashion now let us compute the values for each of the sub array which will be the bitwise and of all of its elements this will be one and now the final answer it will be the or of all these elements which will be three so we need to report three as our answer after we apply this particular query the first basic brute force solution it will be that we will iterate for each of the sub array and then calculate its value and then for the final answer we would have the or of all such values but really it will be an o of n square solution in total for calculation the answer for a 
पर्टिकुलर अरे नाउ एज वी हैव ऑल्सो क्यू नंबर ऑफ क्यू री सो अवर अरे विल बी अपडेटेड क्यू टाइम्स सो इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट द आंसर फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर अरे अगेन वी नीड टू आइट्रेट ओवर दी एन स्क्वायर वैल्यूज सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्रूट फॉर सोल्यूशन द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इट विल बी ओ ऑफ क्यू इन टू एन स्क्वायर विच विल क्लियरली नॉट पास अवर सोल्यूशन लेट एस सी हाउ वी कैन डू समथिंग विच इज मोर बेटर देन this particular time complexity now before diving into the actual solution let us frame some important points and collect the more information about the question so what the final answer is we need to include all of the sub arrays now suppose that we start from a particular index and then calculate the or of all the possible values of the sub arrays which we can have starting from that particular index only so we will get the terms such as the first will be a of i only if we start from the ith index as the first array of the minimum size it is 1 so the element included in this particular sub array it will be only the ith one the second sub array would have elements ai and ai plus 1 so we need to have the value for this particular sub array which will be the bitwise end of these two elements now the third term possible here that would be a of i and a of i plus 1 and a of i plus 2 similarly we can go on calculating this particular term for all of the sub arrays possible and to answer the final value which we want it will be nothing but or of these values which we have here now if you see that this particular terms only if we start from a particular index i then the subsequent term it will be in a decreasing fashion or to be precise it will be in a non increasing fashion because at max if you take ai and ai plus 1 then its value it can be at most a of i this is the property of and also we can see the same with the help of the truth table so what are the possibilities for the bit if we consider a of i then a particular bit in a of i either it can be 0 or it can be a 1 and if the bit in a of i it is 0 then the corresponding bit in a of i and a of i plus 1 it will surely be 0 only because if you take and of any of bit of a of i plus 1 with 0 then it will surely be 0 only and if the value of a particular bit in a of i it is 1 then there are two possibility if that same bit in a of i plus 1 is 1 then the answer will be 1 and if it is 0 then the answer will be 0 so you can see that if we talk only about a particular bit then that particular bit it will either be decreased from 1 to 0 or it will remain same that is 0 remains 0 or ones remain the same but it cannot increase in any situation we have a very good observation here in this case if we write the values of all of the sub arrays where the starting point is same that is if we write this particular sequence which is ai the second term is a of i and a of i plus 1 the third being a of i and a of i plus 1 and a of i plus 2 so this sequence it will always be in a decreasing fashion or maximum it the terms can be equal or to be more precise what we can say that if a particular bit is set in the term j plus 1 if the bit is set then the same bit will be set in term of j that has to be the case so if a bit is set in this particular term it has to be set in a of i and a of i plus 1 because then only it can be set in this particular term similarly if a bit is set in a of i and a of i plus 1 then the same bit has to be set in a of i only then only it can be set here also so if we want to take or of all these values why do we take or with these extra values we would only take the or with the first term which is nothing but a of i we can see this thing because if a particular bit is set in any of the term that will surely be set in a of i because it is the first term of this particular sequence so we need to only take or with this particular term only in order to be more theoretically correct we can prove th this with the help of a truth table where we can show that a of i it is equivalent to a of i 
और a of i एंड a of i प्लस वन और a of i एंड a of i प्लस वन एंड a of i प्लस टू सिमिलरली वी कैन हैव ऑल दी सीक्वेंस सो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रूव द ट्रूथ टेबल ट्रू वी नीड टू हैव ऑल दी वैल्यूज पॉसिबल एंड देन वी वुड चेक द इक्वेलिटी ऑफ द टू ना सपोज दैट द एनी बिट इन a of i इट इज बींग सेट सो the value or at that particular bit it will be 1 now we need to check it for the right hand side right hand side is nothing but 1 or with some values now if you see that if we take or of 1 with any value it will obviously be 1 only and the other case remaining is that the value of a of i is equals to 0 and if the value of a of i is 0 then it is equivalent to 0 or now if you see this particular term this particular term is zero and with something now if you take zero and its and with something then obviously it has to be zero because for and to be one both of its term should be one so this part will be zero now the another term it will be zero and something and something so here also if you want that three terms and should be one so each of them individually has to be one but as a of i is zero so this will also equal to be zero only all the terms in this sequence are containing a of i because we have consider them in such a way that they are starting from a i so they all will be zero only and if you take or of all the values which are zero you will have zero only so this proves our consideration of this particular formula true theoretically as well and if you want to see this with the help of example we can surely take a one so if suppose that a of i let it be 3 a of i plus 1 b2 and a of i plus 2 b1 so a of i it will be 3 and is same as 3 or with a of i and a of i plus 1 which is 3 and 2 it comes out to be 2 and the third term will be it's or with a of i a of i plus 1 a of i plus 2s and so it will be 0 and if you take or of 3 with 2 and with 0 it comes out to be 3 only so till this point what we have we have that if we want to take or of all the sub arrays which start from the same point then you need not to take or of all the sub arrays we just take or with that particular element only from where it is starting so if you want to have your final answer which has or of all the sub arrays possible so we will not take its or with all of the sub arrays we will just take or with all of the elements in that particular array only but this doesn't complete our solution because for each of the query our array will change and if you go on with this thing only that you will just take or of all the elements in the array then you will have the time complexity as q into n and this will also not pass so we need to also optimize this solution as well so if you see on an bigger scale that what is bitwise or operations of n element so a particular bit and in that particular answer it will be one if you have frequency of that particular bit as greater than or equals to 0 so basically you want that that particular bit should be set in at least one of the elements among the n and if it is not the case then that corresponding bit in our answer it will be zero if the frequency of that particular bit if we consider all of the n elements it is zero here we can think of maintaining the frequencies for all of the possible bits which will be locked to the base n where n represents the maximum number possible of the arrays element we will maintain the frequency of each of the bit in all of the n element so if you follow this way then the operations which we can perform are quite easy now suppose that you want to have or operation of all the n elements and you are only having the frequency count of each of the bit so what we can do we will include 2 to the power i only if the frequency of that particular bit i it is greater than or equals to 1 so in this way we can have our operation of bitwise or in log of n to the base 
two only as we also have the update operation so update operation it will look like you have an index and the new value for that particular index also we have old value for that particular index so this operation it can be broken up into two steps the first will be we will decrease the frequency of that particular element which is the a of index so we will decrease the frequency of all those bits which are set in a of index the other operation is to include the frequency of value which is the new value for that particular index so we will in we will iterate over all the bits in this particular value and if a particular bit is set then we will increase its frequency note that all the operations here are only of order log n you need to see the code implementation of the same to have the better understanding of this and if you do not know this particular logic of maintaining the frequency of a bit then make sure to have good grasp from here and also try some other questions on it so that it will help you further if it comes in another question let us see the code implementation of the same for each of the test case we will call this function solved now when it comes on to each of the test case firstly we have the input taken as n and q now in order to store all of the numbers of the array we have this particular array and then in order to store the frequency for a particular bit we have maintained a frequency array which maximum size it is 32 and the initial value for each of the index it will be zero because we have no such bit set initially now this is the function which is the edit function where x represents the number which we want to edit and either include or exclude in our frequency array now if the value of ext it is one it means that we need to include this particular number x into our frequency array and in that case we will add add up the frequency but if its value is minus one then we would decrease the frequency count now in order to maintain the frequency array we will iterate from 0 to 31 and check if that corresponding bit is set or not in x and if it is the case then we would add this particular term ex3 in the frequency of that particular index now initially when we were taking the input we need to include all of the elements of this particular array in our frequency so we need to pass this function with the argument one here this function calculate it will return the current value of or of all the elements in our array now we just need to check that if for a particular bit i if frequency of i it is something greater than zero then we need to add the answer for that particular i because at least we have such a number which has that particular bit set so we have basically the or operation applied over all the n terms in our array and then we need to just return its answer now when it comes to the main function firstly what is the initial array we need to output its or so we have called this function and now when it comes on to each of the query we need to update the array and again call the same function so when it comes on to each of the query we will first take input of the index and the value which is the new value for that particular index as we are working in the zero based indexing so we have reduced the value of index here now we need to include this particular number which is the new value into our frequency array so we have passed it with the argument one and as we need to also exclude the value which was previously of that particular index so we have edited that particular value which is nothing but the a of index and we have passed the argument minus one so as to decrease its frequency count now we need to also update the same in the array so we have updated the value of a of index is equals to value and then finally we need to also output the or value of the array which is at this particular moment so we have called this function for each of the query so this completes our code let us submit this code we have an ac that's it for this one make sure to like the video if you gain something out of it to submit your code even after the contest in case of doubt or feedback, feel free to leave in the comments.